Hey there everybody. Today is Tuesday. It's been a holiday weekend. Went out of town, went to Gatlinburg and it was cold and rainy but we stayed in the cabin and just visited. I got to see my sisters. It was my birthday weekend. Well, my birthday was Monday, but so it was, yeah, kind of my birthday trip. And so I couldn't wait to kind of get back and get back into the painting and all that. And so I wanted to do this quick video just to remind you. I want to, you know, put one in every so often between all my other videos of how I clean a canvas or a painting and how I seal it. And so today I'm going to show you how I clean my canvases. I also have a piece of glass. Isn't that cool? That's the back side of it. And this is the swipe on the front side. And this was one I did on a 12 inch canvas. And I don't know if you can see the texture, but they're the white outline that I did with my writer bottle. And when I say writer bottle, this is the thing, this is what it is right here. It's a top with a needle inside of it and the screw on lid that has a needle inside of that. And you can screw it onto any two ounce craft bottle or you can buy the bottles that are just plain and you can put whatever color you want into them. So it works on any two ounce bottle. So you can do fine lines and control with the needle that's inside this cap. So it's called a writer bottle and it's in my Amazon link below the video. But the cool part is, is this was all done wet on wet. So the flowers were squeezed out with squeeze bottles and this was a swipe underneath but I did this and I did the flowers on top of it all while it was wet. And I also did the writer bottle on top while everything was wet. But surprisingly the white stayed up on top of the paint. It did not sink in and it actually stands up so that you see texture and I don't think you can I don't think I can get it. Uh, maybe you can see it a little bit there but the white is actually actually standing up and it's really cool looking but because it has silicone on it or OGX or whatever and like I don't see any greasy shiny spots or anything like that. I rarely do with my paintings. This is one this was a swipe I did on glass and there are no slick greasy spots. This is one I did that I'm going to clean for you and there's only one one little area maybe that looks kind of greasy and that's here in this corner there's a little bit of a greasy spot but generally I you know maybe a little bit if you can see right here there's some variation in the black that would be the you know the artist loft black and there's you know maybe a few little greasy spots there but it's really rare to have grease on my pores when they're finished drying and it, see I even poured on a piece of cardboard. This is the cardboard piece that came out of a picture frame. I poured on it and you can see I can take this and put it back in a picture frame. I can leave it as is or I can paint something on top of it. But I wanted to show you this was the dollar silver that came from Dollar General by Crafters Closet. So this bottle is a dollar and people complain about silvers not really showing up. Well this one really shows up every time you use it. I want you to see the shimmer there. Can you see the shine? So this is the Dollar General Silver Paint and that works really well. That is what I used in this painting and you see right there the metallic has a sheen to it. I had put my canvas down with push pins on top of this painting and this painting is loose and what you can do is you can spray the back of a painting with your water bottle. So I have water in a spray bottle. You just 
soak it down really well when your canvas is loose and as it dries it'll help tighten that canvas up so that's just you can do that anytime when your canvas is dry and you see I have fingerprints and stuff on the backs of my canvases I don't fool with making them look any different than the way they do. I leave them just like this. This is the way I sell them, is with my fingerprints on the back because that's a true artist, right? So, I'm going to show you very quickly how I clean canvases. So the first thing you want to do, I, you can use a paper towel, a, you know, like a wad of a paper towel, or these are like the cheap dollar store sponges like that come in six or eight for a pack of uh, yeah for a dollar something like that they're really cheap sponges so this is wet and I'm gonna put a drop of Dawn dish liquid it's degreasing and I'm gonna scrub it on my canvas and to be honest I don't even think I put enough on there I'm gonna put a little more You don't really have to see suds necessarily. And you can go around the sides as well. And then I'll just turn it over and there is a little there is a little darkness there. But you turn it over and then you wipe it down again. to make sure you have every bit of soap residue and silicone or OGX. You want to make sure it's all off of your canvas and then you're going to let it dry. So this one I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a little bit more. This is another way too. If you're not sure if you want to varnish your canvas or not, this is a good way to see what your colors are going to look like when they have varnish on top of them. So once you wet your canvas like this, it kind of makes your colors come back out like if, as if they were varnished just by wetting your canvas. And that helps you determine, too, if that's going to improve the look of your colors. And nine times out of ten, it is. And so that way you can kind of see what it's going to look like with a gloss varnish on it. So you see, this is dull right there. And I'm getting ready to paint on this one. But I'm going to take my soapy sponge. And this is not, <clears throat> I don't get it like really, really wet. I just dampen the sponge. I just want enough soap to get any oil residue off. And then I wipe it down. But I don't know if you can tell, just by wetting it, you can see that it makes those colors brighter just by making it wet. That helps you determine how you're going, uh, if you need to varnish it or if you don't need to varnish it or whatever. I'm going to put this one aside. I'm not varnishing this one. I'm going to paint flowers on top of it, so I'm going to move it aside. These two I will be putting varnish on. So I'm just going to make sure they're nice and dry. Alright, so these two I'm going to varnish. And let me go rinse my sponge out really, really quick. So my go-to varnish that I use all the time is Liquitex High Gloss Varnish. The cheapest place I have found it, this is 32 ounces, is on Amazon. And that's in my link below the video as well. You can get it from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, but you're going to pay an arm and a leg for it, even with the coupon. 
So the cheapest place you can find it is on Amazon and it's free shipping. So I'm going to use this and my usually what I'll use is a sponge brush and I just want to show you like two different kinds. This is a Wooster brand. I probably got it at the paint store. It's got a plastic handle and you can feel inside of it. You can feel an insert inside that's kind of stiff and um, so that's one type. This is another type. I think I got this at Michael's or Walmart or somewhere. They're wooden handled. They have a little, you know, same time kind of thing. There you can feel a little insert inside that kind of holds the sponge brush together. Typically these are what I use to do varnishing with, but I'm going to try a different method today. Gina DeLuca showed in one of her videos that she took a dollar sponge from the dollar store and she put a knee-high stocking or you can put you know regular pantyhose or knee-high stockings or whatever you have you put your sponge inside of it and then you tie it off on the end and so here's the toe part of this stocking or knee-high and obviously I cannot use this end of my sponge to varnish with because of the lump and texture. So I've got to use this side, but she used a sponge inside of a knee-high stocking to apply her varnish. So that is what I'm going to try to do today. Now the only difference is when I use my sponge brushes like this, if I use sponge brushes like this, I keep the sponge brush saturated with the varnish and I put it into a Ziploc bag to store it and I don't rinse the brushes out in between coats and it keeps the brushes very saturated and they stay wet and they will stay wet in your Ziploc bag sometimes up to a month and so I'm not sure with a big huge sponge like this if that will work using this. I don't, th I don't know if I can put it in a bag and store it for a long period of time. I don't know if she rinses hers out between coats I don't think she said on that, but I'm going to use it anyway just to see how it works. I am going to wet it slightly just to get it a little bit damp so that it's not totally a dry sponge. So I've wet it and it's damp, but there's no water coming out of the sponge. It's not dripping or anything, so it's just very, very slightly damp. What I'm going to do is this first one. I'm going to do the bigger one first. And what I'm, I like to just pour it on. And I use a pretty healthy amount. And I'm just going to very quickly, especially because I have a large sponge and I can work quickly, is just put it on really, really quickly. And I can already feel it resisting. So I can tell with this method that you cannot go in circular motion, which is what I typically do with the sponge brush. You cannot do that with this sponge. I can feel it resisting already. When I say resisting, it, it's like it's pulling against you, resisting your dragging it. So that's just a note. And I'm also making sure my sides are coated. I tell you what, I'm going to do my smaller one with my sponge brush so you can see the way I do that one as well. Here is what I typically do. I get me a Ziploc bag and I put the date on it. So I put 11, 13, 18. I've slightly dampened my sponge since this one has not been used before. And I will not be rinsing it at all after using it this time. It will go straight into my uh, bag. Let me move this out of the way so you can see it better. This brush will go straight into this bag right after I put the varnish on. And I will just keep using it saturated with varnish. So what I typically do is I use my sponge brush 
and I very quickly go in a circular pa pattern all over the surface of my canvas. And I don't put just a little bit, I put a, a good amount of varnish on that first coat because you want to make sure you get it coated pretty well. And you might see some little pockets of um, like divot looking areas where maybe you had silicone on it or whatever. I don't really pay attention to that because with the second and third coats that will totally go away. And this does not have to be perfectly level or anything like that on this first coat. It's just a good, a good solid coat first time around and then I'll build my layers up afterwards. So I take my brush that has the varnish on it, I stick it in my bag and seal it, make sure the air is out and I'll use it straight out of the bag on the next coat in a few hours. So I'll be back with more coats. So this is just a quick video to show you the sheen on the paintings. It has about two or three coats. It's not perfect, but um, I, don't, I don't always aim for perfection. But what the nice part about the uh, gloss is, is it seals in that metallic and helps it show up better. And it just makes the black and white brighter against each other. So that is that one. And then here is the glass, and I put uh, two or three coats, and there's some, you can see some brush strokes. It's not perfect either, but um, I kind of like that look. It gives it more of a painterly look on something like this. It, I don't want it to actually look like it's resined. Um, so I actually like to see a little bit of imperfections, you know, just like my lines are not straight. I have a shaky hand and it shows, but I embrace that. I don't claim to be a perfect painter. So, um, so yeah, there's the glossiness and then, you know, but a lot of times I can get a painting to get, you know, to be super shiny and slick with three to five coats. And this was maybe two coats on both of these two, three at the most, but, um, it does really make the colors pop back out again. So I wanted to bring that to your attention as well. So there they are. This one's going off to its new owner tomorrow. And hopefully this one will find a home. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out all the links below my video. And make sure to order a calendar for 2019 if you would like with my art in it. It'll be in the link on the uh, 
video, there will be a little I up in the right hand corner that will have a link to the site where you can purchase through my website. And there's also a link below the video as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.